And now that you have scheduled your meeting, you've joined your meeting, you may want to record that Teams meeting and post it for students to watch later. In this video, we're going to look at how to do just that. Let's get started. Now, once you're in your team meeting, if you want to record that meeting, either just so you have a copy of what took place, or if you need to post it because you know that some students won't be able to attend the meeting when you're having it, and you want them to have access to it. What you will do is, in the meeting, hover over that center middle bottom of the screen to get that menu to pop up. Click on the three dots, which means more actions, and you'll see the option of Start Recording. So I'm going to go ahead and click Start Recording. And so you'll see over here on the menu bar that it is recording this particular meeting. So you'd go ahead and have your meeting. I can just miss this up here to get rid of that message. Um, do your meeting, and um, when you are done with the meeting, you can go down here to the three dots, the more actions again, and just click Stop Recording. If you forget to stop recording, it will automatically stop recording once you do exit and leave the meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave my meeting. And one thing you need to know is that as soon as you stop that recording, it is being sent to your stream video access. Um, so this is automatically happening in the background. So the next thing I want to show you is how to find that video. So if you open ClassLink and then click on the Office 365 icon, that is going to open up all of the Office applications. Now you may not have Stream on your list of applications. Notice I have it here because I use it regularly. You may not have it. If you do not have it, click on All Apps. And then find Stream in the list of apps. When you click on it, it's going to open your Stream location. And across the top, you're going to see an option that says My Content. So I'm going to click on My Content, and I'm going to choose Videos. Now it's going to show you all of the videos that you have created based on your recordings. And there's a couple things that you're going to want to do. The first thing you'll need to do is change the permissions on the video. So you would find your video, go over to the right and click on the pencil icon. This is going to be, allow you to edit some information about the video. So if you need to change name, give a description, whatever, you can do that here. But the main thing I'm worried about right now is here in the permissions section, I'm going to check this box that says allow everyone in your company to view this video. That means that when students go to watch the video, as long as they are signed in, with their account for Forsyth County, they will be able to access your video. So that's extremely important. And then be sure to click the Apply button at the top. Now as soon as you do that, it's actually going to open that video for you. You could watch it right there if you need to. But the main thing that I want to show you here is where you can get the link for this video. So underneath the video, notice there's my Share option. I'm going to click on Share. And I have a couple options. On the first screen that comes up, you have a direct link to the video. So I can just click Copy there. And then I can take that link and I can put it in my It's Learning course for the kids to watch. Additionally, if you like to embed your videos, which is always a great option so the kids only see that particular video, notice there's an Embed option. So I can click Embed. They do allow you to change the video player size, so if you want to make sure it's, it's large enough for the kids to see, you can play with those options. Um, but then you can copy the embed code. And once again, put that in your It's Learning course on a page or in a note, and then allow the kids to view it from there. I hope that helps you know how to record and post a Teams meeting video.